a morning down to 52 and seasonal temperatures returning Thursday with highs in the upper 70s. Looks like it'll be dry towards the middle part of next week. Photos of the day. <laughs> Marty Bartz with this photo and uh, I, I titled it a prince in waiting. That's a cute title. <laughs> I like all you have that. to do is just give it a Give me a little schmooch. Lovely color there. Mm -hmm. Nice green, very vibrant green. And we have Debbie Artman. Speaking Woo. of some color, some uh, red lilies. Beautiful lilies. Wow. Lilies come in all different colors. Mm. And they are uh, gorgeous. Little lily season. You know, a lot of people think it's uh, around Easter, but the you know the lilies outside are, are popping up here in June. Mm -hmm. That's when they, the well, ones you get, the ones you get at the store. They actually uh, around Easter they they make them so they bloom around Easter. Gotcha. Anyhow, Lindy Smith with a beautiful Eastern bluebird. Look at that guy. That's wow. spectacular color. Yeah, nice blue and the brown. Nice contrast. Send in those photos to weather at WTOV.com. That's the email address. Or you could go to our news app and look for see it, send it, submit your photos via the phone, your iPad or whatever you want. Mobile device, something simple like yeah, that. Yeah, sounds good. Easy enough. Coming up, find out where you can get some special deals for Donut Day. Donuts! It's next in trending. <laughs>5.55, just 10 minutes away. That's why it looks so nice outside. Okay, up first on this National Donut Day. We now know when sunrise is going to be for National Donut Day, 5.55. It originally began as a way to commemorate the women and women who served donuts to soldiers during World War I. So if you like donuts, this is your lucky day. Krispy Kreme is offering customers a free donut of their choice, and no purchase is required. At Dunkin' Donuts, you can get your choice of any Classic donut free with the purchase of a beverage. Every Walmart in America will celebrate the day by giving away one free glazed donut per customer. And here are some fun facts from Dawn Foods, the creator of the first industrial donut mix. More than 10 billion donuts are made in the United States every year, and the average consumer eats 31 donuts per year. You really think it's that many? That uh, sounds like a whole lot. We're not paying attention. You know how those donuts go down. There you go. And Angelina Jolie and David Oyelo are teaming up for a new live action fantasy flick. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the duo will co-star in Come Away, a prequel to the literally classic Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan. Meanwhile, Variety is reporting that James Marsden is on board for Paramount's film adaptation of the iconic video game Sonic the Hedgehog. The movie will be a mix of live action and animation. It's not clear whether the actor will star live or voice or lighting, speed, character. There's a whole lot going on there. We still need to figure out. That's what people are talking about on social media. Make sure you're following WTOV9 to see what's happening right here in the Ohio Valley all throughout the day. Jessica. Thank you, Bill. A letter from North Korea being hand delivered to President Trump today may determine if the nuclear summit is on or off. Tracy Potts is in Washington this morning with what to expect. Bill and Jessica, good morning. Still no deal on the summit, but there is progress. And today, President Trump is getting direct communication from North Korea's leader. No threats or tweets today. President Trump is expecting a message from North Korea's leader the old-fashioned way. A letter is going to be delivered to me from Kim Jong-un. So I look forward to seeing what's in the letter. A reporter who spoke to the president on Air Force One says he seems excited but unsure. You can tell that he really wants this meeting to take place. Uh, you can tell he thinks that Kim Jong-un is going to be a wily character. He's not sure what to expect. Expect talks to continue on the June 12th nuclear summit still in limbo. I'm confident we're moving in the right direction. Two former spy chiefs, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and North Korea's Kim Yong-chol in New York as their country's chief negotiators. We, we've made real progress in the last uh, 72 hours towards setting the conditions. The main condition from the U.S., North Korea must agree to give up all its nuclear weapons. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis is in Singapore scoping out security in case this summit happens.
The Secretary of State says it would be tragic to let this opportunity go to waste. From Washington, Tracy Potts, News 9 Sunrise. Tracy, thank you very much. The embattled Missouri governor's, governor leaves office today. This after months of investigations into the governor, Eric Greitens, personal and political life that led to criminal charges and a special session to consider his impeachment. The 44-year-old Republican governor offered to resign in exchange for dismissal of felony computer tampering charge in which he was accused of illegally obtaining a donor list to help his 2016 election campaign. There's still an ongoing investigation against Greitens involving a felony invasion of privacy charge in connection with an admitted extramarital affair he had in 2015. Even though we've already had one named tropical system this year, Alberto, today is actually the official start of the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is predicting a normal to above average season. Forecasters say we could see 10 to 16 named storms. Out of those, they say five to nine of those could become hurricanes, with one to four becoming major hurricanes. That means category three strength or higher. Last year, there were 17 named storms, including Harvey, Irma, and Maria, which caused devastation to the U.S. mainland and Puerto Rico. Hurricane season officially ends November 30th. Two-month-old Christian Harris will never know her father. He was killed while serving in Afghanistan days after finding out he was going to be a dad. But that legacy has given Christian a surrogate family in the men and women who served alongside Army Specialist Christopher Harris. They were there to support his widow, Britt Harris, through her pregnancy. Members of the 82nd Airborne Division even revealed the baby's gender to her over video in October. On Tuesday, she gathered her husband's comrades together for this special photo shoot with Christian. Some of the soldiers were with Harris in the vehicle explosion that killed him. The new mom says she hopes Christian inherits her father's extroverted personality and love of meeting new people. The new National Spelling Bee champion is $42,000 richer this morning, so you have to ask yourself, are you smarter than a ninth grader? 14-year-old Karthik Nima of McKinney, Texas, won this year's Scripps National Spelling Bee. Karthik spelled the word koinonia correctly to become the champion of the 93-year-old competition. He beat a seventh grader, also from Texas, who misspelled a 16-letter word in the final round. The finals began with 41 spellers, and the number slowly dwindled over five rounds. The competition was tough. Three spellers who made it to the top 10 last year hung in there until the late latest. And at one point in the second round, 21 consecutive kids spelled their words correctly. The $42,000 reward is made up of cash and prizes. And uh, Cobra is spelled C-O-B-R-A. And that's our dog walking forecast uh, for the day as Cobra's uh, standing in front of the uh, azaleas there. Nice looking shot. It's a dry morning. Look for the threat of rain to pick up again this afternoon. High temperature on this first day of June, around 80 degrees. Your weekend forecast is coming up next. Now with your severe weather team nine forecast. Welcome back to New Science Sunrise 555, your time on this Friday morning. Also, incidentally, it's the first day of June. May goes down as a very warm month, May 2018. The average high was 80 degrees during the month. That is eight degrees above normal. Uh, in April, we saw a high, our average high temperature, I believe, is around five or six degrees below normal. So quite a turnaround from one month to another being on two ends of the spectrum. Cloud cover uh, filling the sky this morning. A lot of clouds and the uh, sun coming up here right now actually at 555 can't see it a whole lot of it because of the clouds right now uh daylight gain 